compositions, just like the ones we saw uh, two weekends ago. 60% of you think Method Orange are going to take it. 40% think the Gosu crew, formerly the Move, are going to take it. Both teams leading with what would be considered their strongest compositions in the current meta. Trill likely playing that Mana Rift Honor talent, so he'd be looking for stuns into Mana Rift on Absturge, trying to tap his Mana Bar for a late game play. Yeah, Sam, I am already getting pressured down. Absturge gets stunned. Uh, doesn't look like there's going to be a Mana Rift. There's the full root beam. Looks like Wizk looking for a Mass Dispel. He gets interrupted by Trill. Very nicely done. Peekaboo in a little bit of trouble throwing out the feint as well as the Cloak of Shadows. Now Imprisonment on Abbott Surge. Really good pressure coming in for Method Orange. WizK already having to disperse despite the Edge of Insanity damage reduction. That's a vital defensive out of the way. Trill getting peeled on his powerful metamorphosis cooldown by Peekaboo, but Peekaboo's caught in center field with two players activating their strongest boost of damage. This is a dangerous play by Peekaboo. He's gambling a lot here. Absurd is also playing it greedy by not trading that Earthen Wall Totem, as we know that is a powerful defensive. Now opting to use it as they switch to WizK, but now almost immediately switching back to Peekaboo. I love these Cyclones by Sam I Am. It's very unlikely they kill through the Earthen Wall, so instead, Cyclone the target, stop their damage, and stop incoming healing is a much better option. Perfect play by Sam I Am. In this matchup, Method Orange theoretically has a big advantage early on with the Incarnation, with the Metamorphosis coming in from Trill. Those are major offensives. The Gosu crew, if they can stabilize, I think during that downtime where Method Orange doesn't have those cooldowns available, they should theoretically have an Ooh. advantage, but still very good pressure on Peekaboo, trading out the Evasion and Feint. Now Peekaboo, basically, he has nothing left. He has to completely rely on Absurge defensives if he wants to survive. That was the back of two triple stuns by Trill and Sidu. The Gosu crew cannot afford to stack on top of each other against a Demon Hunter. It is definitely a massive error as all their damage spreads to multiple targets and their stun locks. So the Sidu or Absurge and Wizkin need to split up. We see a smoke bomb attempt here by Peekaboo gunning down for Samayam. They don't even manage to pull his bark skin. Now Peekaboo in trouble. Absturge locked down. Absur needs to respond. He's trying to be greedy and extend the game a bit longer, but that mana rift is likely to tick the mana bar of Absur so much faster than Sidu's. It's looking better and better for Method Orange. Yes, Sidu into a full kidney shot, though. The Ghost crew looking to get aggressive there and spread their pressure. Trill responds with his darkness. That's going to be preventing all incoming damage. Uh, they need to make sure they're taking full advantage of that. Looks like Samayam wants to move into that just a little bit as well. Earthen Wall Totem was down. Ghost crew completely stabilized. Sidu's going to have to play a little bit of catch up here. All right, nice Cyclones again by Sam I Am during the Earthen Wall Totem of Absturge. Just slowing down the game, waiting for that cooldown to be traded out and over. Sidu, a bit of pressure, but nice double stun, Solar Beam combo. Method Orange are falling behind despite this aggressive push. Sidu getting caught off guard. How's he going to deal with the pressure? He's going to duck around the corner. Trill's going to pressure Peekaboo off of Sidu. Nice teamwork from Trill. Sidu will recover trading Ascendance, a powerful defensive but allows him to restabilize. Risk getting cycloned at low health. Absurge's mana looking worse and worse. Basically, the Gosu crew need to pull off a miracle, as they often do, but somehow manage to do consistently. Other than that, I mean, there's not a lot of openings right now for them, Ben. No, there really isn't. I mean, Absurge, like you said, way behind on mana. The mana rifts really deadly coming in from Trill. Sam I am. He has that incarnation coming up soon. Metamorphosis almost available for Trill. If they can stack those cooldowns, it's going to be a very scary moment for the Gosu crew. Still good control coming in from Sam I am in this matchup. A, a hex snuck in there by Sidu onto Absurge. Very nicely done. He has no decurse on his Ooh. team, so kind of stuck in that. But a quaking palm fear over onto Sidu. Kidney shot on Sam I am. Do they have the pressure? Do they have the damage? Looks like he should be able to survive this. Peekaboo getting caught into the stun with the root beam onto Absturge. Now Peekaboo has to respond with all his defensives once again. Yeah, both teams come out swinging. The only thing really that Method Orange are winning on in terms of the front is the mana. Absurge is just getting mana rifted, and the Gosu crew don't have that option to try and trade for Sido. Instead, they're trying to swap to him and burst him down, but not even making a dent on that kidney shot. As Sido was in a good position to line of sight Wizk, it was basically just Peekaboo who was able to attack, and because of that, it didn't even hurt him. Sido repositioning. We saw him do this a lot yesterday's, in yesterday's tournament, always moving away from his opponents, trying to play 40 yards max distance. They're forced to now go after Trill. Abster just pushing forward. The Gosu crew are on a clock. Abster's mana bar is a ticking time bomb to defeat. We see a silence on Sidu. Trill under fire still, but not enough crowd control to chain together. I would have much rather seen Whiskey hold on to that silence for a kidney shot and a swap attempt. They see to preemptively walls, expecting a kidney shot, denies another kill on himself. 
See you in the head of Peekaboo. Now we see Method Orange with a triple crowd control play here. Power play, trying to gun down Peekaboo. Yep, Absurge caught into the Cyclone as well. Sam, I am on point with this crowd control. There's the Mana Rift onto Absurge. Unfortunately, I think he got immune there by the Cyclone, so not the best for Method Orange. Absurge still just not doing well on many, because you see he's literally 100% mana at this point in the game. You know, Trill provides a lot of self-healing uh, on the Demon Hunter. Sam, I am has good off heals as well, so that's why the Ghostu crew, they've kind of turned their attention to Sidu, trying to take it, uh, advantage of the fact that he doesn't have a Trinket here. This is a lot of burst damage. Spirit Link gets traded out by Sidu. Trill still has the darkness available, so that's really the only thing Method Orange has left to keep themselves alive. We've just stepped foot into dampening, and Absurge is almost completely tapped on mana. However, in the past, we've seen him heal on nothing but fumes for quite some time. Sidu has been getting pressured throughout all of this. He's actually on the ropes here with minimal defensive options. He needs a bit of support. Sam, I'm getting some nice Cyclones, but Peekaboo is gunning down for the kill. Sidu trades out Ascendants. He's not going to see that cooldown for another three minutes. Now Method Orange swing back. Triple crowd control. Another power Power play, nice cap totem to follow up, good hex, perfect execution by Method Orange that will bank them cooldowns from both Whiskey and potentially a kill throughout it. This is insane pressure from Method Orange, gets denied, but cooldowns have been forced nonetheless. Yes, Cedar Shrink is out of blind, so potential opening for the Ghostu crew, but this is not looking good. Absurge only has about 5% mana left, and he needs to catch up WizK, who has basically nothing except that Void Shift. Cedar dispelling out some of the VTs once again. Midfield is WizK and Sam I am. Sam I am looking for a Cyclone, man just to find it to defend Sidu just a little bit as all three members of the move or the Gosu crew are char charging towards Sidu. Now Samayam caught to the kitty shot with a silence onto Sidu with a quaking palm. Beautiful setup from the Gosu crew as they're looking to close out this game. Trill forced to drop out the darkness. Samayam using the bark skin as you, they use everything they can to stay alive. Nice crowd control from the Gosu crew. This is the miracle they need despite having absolutely no mana. They've managed to create a lot of momentum. This next vendetta in 24 seconds could be devastating, but in the meantime, they need to survive this attempt. Abstract trick but he trinkets into a cyclone. Samayam catches him off guard. They're going after Whiskey. It's not going to be enough. Absurge deflects. Earthen Wall Totem is down. Whiskey will dip low here, but unlikely go down. Maybe. Uh, it seems like it's going to be denied. Earthen Wall Totem on both sides, but Samayam currently not inside of it. He's trying to hop his way back into that defense and survive while Sidu gets crowd controlled. This Earthen Wall is really the last line for Method Orange. The Gosu crew, they're holding on with nothing, but they're slowly grinding their way to victory. Sidu's in a bit of danger here. Trades out Astral Shift. Pikachu ducks away from the I-beam, trying to stay on target, just gunning down Sidu. We've often seen these teams go head-to-head -head and it ends up being a healer race, but there's no pressure on Absurge, and now this is looking more and more in favor of Gosu crew, even though Absurge has no mana. As dampening gets higher and higher, Sidu's really going to struggle healing through this Shadow Priest assassination rope pressure. Another man mana burn over on Absurge, but that's a kidney shot on Sidu, and really, Method Orange, they don't have anything to help him out. He's caught into the silence. Will he be able to keep himself alive? Ultimately, the Shadow where Death come crashing in from Wiz K and the Gosu crew put the first point on the board. And you wouldn't expect anything less from... ...as the most vulnerable, and then a second, good secondary is Absturge. If they overcommit defensives, they can make a switch to him. So I think it was just a matter of mistargeting, really, by Method Orange towards the end of that match. Yeah, was in center field, looking to get some VTs out early on. Peekaboo moving in in stealth. Have to see how he opens up. Looks like Sam I am, gets corroded, and uh, that's really going to be it. Full kidney shot now committed on the Sea-Doo. They want to make a large swap on him very early on. They have dots on Sam I am. He's rotting down. Trill flies over, drops the darkness to keep Sea-Doo alive. He only wants to trade out that darkness on that Vendetta, and I, I think that's a fair trade. All right, we see two members on Method Orange dipping low. Sea-Doo has to deal with that. He's going to use Healing Tide Totem. That heals his whole team over time. Smart trade. Does not want to overlap that with Ascendance. With those both being three-minute cooldowns, you want to split them about halfway in between. That way you get a good cycle and you always have access to one of those powerful cooldowns. Pika was setting up for a blind play here. Looking for a sap, but not actually able to get the sap. So the blind play accomplishes nothing. Now Method Orange have an opening to maybe even be aggressive and go after Absturge. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was a big Earth Elemental just bashing Absturge's head, and that was dropped from Sea-Doo early on. So that's the reason why, unfortunately, Peekaboo couldn't get that follow-up sap out of the blind. Now looking to get aggressive on Sea-Doo. He's caught in the kidney shot, but a nice imprisonment on Peekaboo will slow down his damage. Ultimately, Sea-Doo is going to survive here. You see Trill trying to counter-pressure Peekaboo away. Trying to deflect a little bit of this pressure onto C2. Absurge moving in once again gets stunned into the mana burn from Trill. So that's still a strategy they're trying to implement. But Absurge's mana is doing quite well in this game. I really feel like they're just going to win by bursting Peekaboo down. Even if Absurge's mana hits zero, 
I don't think they win by attrition. It's going to be burst and crowd control. So playing for that is a nice way to kind of maybe scare Absturge, but I don't think they can fully rely on that. They still need to execute good crowd control. Nice solar beam here by Sam I Am, but Wiz K psychic screen Sam I Am away, so he wasn't able to do any damage during it. That was good peel by Wiz K, allowing his team to breathe easy. Now Wiz K gets cycloned up. Peekaboo dipping low. Absurge is pushing forward. So you see Healing Tide is 1 minute 34, and he's used Descendants. So splitting them halfway in between is typically the strategy for the Restoration Shaman. So you can maintain your mana for a really late game, but still have access to some powerful defensives throughout the game. We see Absurge still getting mana burned, or mana rifted by Trill. But like I said, I don't think that's going to be really the ultimate win condition. With Peekaboo having no Trinket, no Cloak, and Evasion, that's a much higher chance of him going down. He needs to be a bit careful. Absurge is trying to stay next to him. They imprison Peekaboo. He's not able to faint. If they stun him out of this with a solar beam, it could be devastating. Doesn't look like they want to go for it. If Absurd stacks up, he could stack up for a double stun as well. He's got to be careful with his positioning. Yeah, Trill actually went for a mana rift on Peekaboo there just to get a little bit of additional damage out in that setup. Didn't really do too much. Kidney shot now on Sam I Am. CD drops the Tremor Totem, trying to avoid a fear and coming from Wiz K. CD trinks out of the blind. Full root beam on Absurge as well. Sam I Am could be in a little bit of trouble. Nice shadow step kick coming in from Peekaboo. Sam I Am moving out of that Earthen Shield Totem, forcing Peekaboo to overextend a little bit. And he's taking a lot of damage. The only thing he has to really work with is that Vanish. Absurge luckily isn't in any crowd control, so should be able to connect some heals here. Stabilize Peekaboo, but if you look at mana, CD is still way ahead in this matchup compared to Absurge. I still don't know if it's going to be the win condition. Right now, I think this is actually in favor of Gosu Crew. It's kind of misleading with the way Restoration Shamans work. It doesn't seem like they even need mana. When they may be really, really, really deep dampening, they're going to need mana. But if the Gosu Crew can get a kill on Sidu before that point, which seems to be much more likely, I feel like Gosu Crew are actually favored in this matchup. We see WizK getting swapped too, but again, it's unlikely he goes down on the Shadow Priest with Edge of Insanity. Vampiric Embrace, that's going to be providing a lot of team healing. He gets Cyclone on it, that's well done by Sam I Am, but Method Orange are still the ones behind. Sidu cycles through his primary defensives here with Healing Tide down. Should allow him to recover. Now there's the crowd control and the burst. They get Cloak of Shadows and Evasion from Peekaboo. That's what Method Orange are going to be looking to set up, but they need to survive to another attempt. Sidu's locked down. Yeah, he is. Darkness gets dropped out by Trill. Sidu had no trinket, no anything up in that moment, no astral shift, so Trill was really the last line of defense for him. And this is the strategy coming in from Gosu Crew. They get dots up, get bleeds up on Sam I Am, and then they run over to Sidu. They interrupt his heals, keep him in kidney shots. So that way, Sam I Am rots down. At the same time, Sidu really has to worry about himself. And that keeps Sidu guessing who does the Gosu Crew want to go on. And they can do setups like this with the fierce silence on the Sidu. Sam I Am in a lot of trouble, uses the bark skin. Nice mind control coming. Coming in from Wiz K, CD should be able to connect the heals here. The Earthen Shield Totem, that is enough to keep Sam I Am up, but I like the strategy coming in from Gosu Crew. Sam I Am's got Incarnation up. They need to get something done with this, but they're targeting the Shadow Priest with it again. I think the targeting is off. Peekaboo has no Trinket, no Cloak, and no Evasion. Why would you pump two Star Surges into Wiz K in this position? It just seems like a waste of damage. Now they're trying to go after Peekaboo, but the Incarnation timer is just ticking away. They go for the stun, but they don't. They cross crowd control one second too late. Everything right there was just a little bit sloppy by Method Orange. That could have been what pushed the Gosu crew over the edge, just moving into dampening, and they kind of dropped the ball. Yeah, Peekaboo overextending just a little bit. Trill still looking to punish him, but Peekaboo is doing a good job. He always has his feint up, make sure he's at least in line of sight for Absurges for those Riptides for the Earth Shield so he can continue to get aggressive on Sidu like this. Wizk actually trinkets out. They they really want to take Sidu down here. Drops the Earthen Shield Totem. He should be fine, but if we look at Sidu's cooldowns, he doesn't have a trinket. He has no Earthen Shield Totem. Darkness not available. Gosu Crew's looking good. Absurge is actually getting swapped to, and I like this adaptation by Method Orange. I think switching targets is going to be important important for them to find a victory because the Gosu crew have been doing that throughout this game and it seems like so much pressure that Sidu is just going to get absolutely annihilated in game number two. Method Orange can't rely on this passive mana. It should be the final game of this series, the Gosu Crew versus Method Orange. Of course, we are in the upper bracket, though, so whoever loses this one will just drop down to meet Super Frogs. They could both still play in the grand final, then. Yeah, Mez charging in, Trill as well, trying to get some damage out early on. Look for the mana burns onto Absurd, which K already taking an immense amount of pressure. And they get the imprisonment. Peekaboo opening up onto both of these Demon Hunters, trying to spread pressure a little bit. There's a silence on Sidu as well. Gosu Crew, they're going to be looking to bounce around, put pressure on Sidu, make sure they're rotting down Mez and Trill. Luckily for Sidu, though, Mez and Trill, they're pretty self-sufficient. They can keep themselves alive as they're doing damage. 
All right, they traded Darkness from Trill for Peekaboo's Vendetta, and they can cycle Darknesses for that, I believe, almost indefinitely, but now Peekaboo's just keeping up the constant pressure. Sidhu's trying his hardest to not trade a cooldown, but now he's blinded at low health. Luckily, I think he is running that Ghost Wolf talent, so he heals himself while sitting in Ghost Wolf. He actually healed himself for full in that blind. Nice talent choice by Sidhu, realizing that the Demon Hunters, as you pointed out, are self-sufficient. That Ghost Wolf also allows him to be self-sufficient. Yeah, look at Absurge's mana already down to around 60%. If they can consistently land these mana burns with the mana rifts, it's going to be very difficult for Absurge to sustain for much longer. Let's not forget, I mean, the tank trinkets a couple weeks ago, they definitely helped out the Gosu crew to survive while Absurge was completely tapped on mana. So Method Orange, their strategy could definitely work. They're getting good pressure on Wizke at the moment, which is very surprising. Mana, as you said, is in favor. We'd like to see more... Mana Rift attempts. We see a Premptive Earthen Shield activation here by Absturge right before that Imprison hit. It was a nice read, but Whiskey's actually moving out of the protection of that totem. Whiskey, I know you're a Shadow Priest, but even this might be a bit of a gamble. He's trying to get back into it. Absturge getting stun locked once again. Peekaboo going after Sidhu. What? Whiskey looking to try and get some dots. This is the most pressure we've seen Whiskey under, I think, in a long time, but Sidhu now caught in a stun. Whiskey moves over to follow up with that silence. This could be a Darkness or a Trigget trade. Trinket Spirit Link, vital defensives forced by Method Orange. They're on match points, and they're against the wall. Yeah, and that wasn't the Vendetta coming in from Peekaboo. We need to see Mez have Darkness available. If the Gosu crew can cross crowd control Mez, get him in a Hex, get him in a Fear, while they kidney shot Sidhu, that's an opportunity for them to really exploit the fact that Mez has already used his Trinket. Absurge caught. What is happening to Absurge's health and mana? These mana rests are insane coming in from Method Orange. Absurge almost completely tapped, uses the Ascendance to catch up. Now Sidhu in some trouble, kidney shot committed on him. This is the Vendetta as well. Mez there, thankfully, for the Darkness to keep Sidhu alive. Yeah, and the next time Trill will have his darkness, so they've got a good strategy to deal with Peekaboo's vendetta. It comes down to how Sidhu deals with the downtime in between. So far, he's been getting pressured quite heavily and having a difficult time. Fortunately, Absurge is almost tapped on mana if Method Orange Demon Hunters can keep that up. It looks like they're switching to Mez, trying to peel uh, for Absurge to allow him some time to recover. Looking for a cheeky hex. You see a blind. Unlikely that they take Mez out in this position. They get the sap if they can keep this crowd control chain going just a little bit longer. Perhaps Mez will be in some trouble. Doesn't appear to be the case. Triple Psychic Scream. Good setup by the Gosu crew. This chain has been going on for quite some time and Mez is still just hanging on quite comfortably, actually. Sidhu now has Earthen Wall. Very unlikely Mez goes down in this position. Method Orange start to stabilize, but Earthen Wall isn't available for Sidhu as he is likely the primary kill target. That's an opening for Gosu Crew. Whiskey had a really nice play. Actually, life gripped Absurge out of the double mana rift. That was his last little bit of mana that he protected there, so very nicely done. But now Mez and Trill, they're moving in. Double mana rift onto Absurge as he gets low. A lot of damage coming in once again. Mana Rift actually does a considerable amount of burst. Not only does it drain your mana, but it seems to be chunking Absurge down every time they can land two of those. There's a Kidney Shot on the Mez. No Trinket available, but a nice imprisonment from Trill will defend. It's not going to be mana that uh, CU obviously loses this game on. He's been full every single game. It's going to be swaps and burst damage by the Gosu crew as a rogue needs a miracle to try and burst down through this. WizK getting pressured, and this is still the most pressure we've seen on him throughout this tournament, so this composition is definitely playing better than the balance through Demon Hunter was. Mana Rift once again, Absurge completely tapped, but it's not going to really matter until we start moving into dampening, and I think we're still pretty far away from that point, so the Gosu crew are going to have quite a few more opportunities to go after Sidhu. They've got Earthen Wall Totem used on Mez. Now Sidhu doesn't have it for himself. Peekaboo sees that opportunity. He's making his way over. Yeah, this is where we need to see Method Orange really capitalize on the fact that the Gosu crew is out of mana, but Sidhu in some trouble. Trades out the Astral Shift and Darkness. That's an overlap coming in from Method Orange. Like I said, th these are the kind of things that Ghostly Crew can really exploit later on. Once again, Absurge gets life gripped out of the double mana rift. Absurge, or Sidhu now caught into the kidney shot. They need to help him. Imprisonment on Peekaboo. He doesn't have a trinket. That should be enough to keep Sidhu alive, but he's still under a lot of pressure. Peekaboo is just doing so much damage. Sidhu is having a hard time just even finding a way to spend all of the exorbitant amount of mana <laughs> he has. I'm not sure if he should be trying to hard cast the healing surges. He's really trying to exploit the... Uh, Ghost Wolf talents and heal with that to be as much mana efficient as possible, not really open himself to up to any interrupts, but 
Every once in a while, he just catches these really close calls, and he's on match points. It could just be knocking him down to the lower bracket. Absurd, though, finally in trouble as Mez and Trill gun for him. He pops a sentence. He's also likely playing Ghost Wolf talent, so he's healing while he's just running in Ghost Wolf basically for free. These Wrestler Shamans can extend the match for quite some time. Peekaboo getting swapped, too. I like the split pressure from Method Orange. Right now, it's unlikely that Sidhu goes down. He has a lot of op options to survive. It's finally looking in favor of Method at orange. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Peekaboo getting a little low. Wizk getting a little low. Absurd's trying to get a combat to sit down for a drink. Here's the double mana rift. Once again, Absurd's trinkets out. He knows how much damage that does. He needs to save the mana that he can. Garot on Sidu. Cheap shot on Mez. Wizk looking to get aggressive as he pushes in. Double chaos. Nobody going to be used by Trill. But Wizk, he trinkets out. Looking for the panda racial over on to Sidu. But I think it actually broke, unfortunately. So not going to be able to completely capitalize on that. All right. They're going after Sidu once again. They have darkness for every vendetta. They need to find a way to crowd control Mez when they use this next vendetta if they want to take Sidu down. In the meantime, this is probably it for Absturge's mana and potentially his life. Huge burst from Method Orange. They life grip Absturge. Will he be able to hang on? Go Looks on, like he side. might go be side. able to hang on, just barely just healing with the Ghost Wolf. He doesn't have mana to spend, so that's the only heal he can really do. Whiskey is actually under some pressure here as well by Method Orange, perhaps force a dispersion. The deeper we move into dampening, the more likely it is that Method Orange will take this, but with the tank trinket changes, it's gonna be difficult to make it that far. Absurd st stun locks once again. Nobody next to him for that Spearling Totem. He needs his team. Maybe he doesn't. Absurd doesn't need nobody to stay alive, I guess. He's just gonna run away and Ghost Wolf. Try and catch the slowest healing wave ever. Not even actually off to go for it. Sidu getting trained down by Peekaboo. There's the Vendetta committed. Mez trades Darkness. Although Sidu isn't actually inside of it, so this could be danger time for Sidu if Peekaboo can stay on target, but double stun peels Peekaboo and Whisk away, forcing vital defenses from them, and now the Gosu crew, Gosu crew are on the ropes. Yeah, Whisk, no cooldowns left, no dispersion, and with Absurge having really no mana to work with, this could be scary. Kidney shot on Mez, he has the rain from above, so at any point he can fly up into the sky and avoid a lot of this incoming damage. All three members from Method Orange rotting down, Absurge in a lot of trouble, still trying to kite away, no mana available, Actual shift is going to get used once again. Trying to just get out of combat, try to connect some heals onto himself. I really feel like Method Orange, they need to turn their attention onto Wizk, keep this pressure up on him. He's very vulnerable with no void shift, no dispersion, smoke bomb. but a smoke bomb, kidney shot on Mez. Mez ultimately going to survive, and Wizk in so much trouble. Are they finally going to be able to take Wizk down? Absturge has absolutely no mana left. We're moving into critical points of dampening. It doesn't look like it's going to be likely, but every once in a while, the mana regenerates just enough for Absturge to squeeze in a healing wave. And with the Shaman Mastery, it heals for a lot more when you feel a low health target. And it's just working out for Absturge to be able to keep this game going. The Gosu crew, on the other hand, have been going after Mez quite a lot. And I feel like it's unlikely they take him down. It's more likely Sidu is going to be the target. But they can't really risk going after him. If Wizkay line of sights Absturge, it's going to be Curtains. Nice life grip on Absturge, protecting him from that mana rift. That might have just been the kill there. Good defensive teamwork by Wizkay. It's basically up to Peekaboo. Peekaboo has to carry this game and find a kill basically by himself on Sidu. Other than that, I see no opportunity for the Gosu crew. Yeah, Mez getting low. Doesn't have the blur for another eight seconds. Sidu keeping him alive, though, quite easily. Double Chaos Nova coming in from Trill once again onto Wizk and Peekaboo. Absurd trying to get a little bit of mana here. Look at him. He's out of combat, sitting down for a drink. Method Orange, they need to see this. They need to shut it down. Ultimately, they do. There's the stun. Double mana riff once again onto Absurd as they bring him down very low. <laughs> Astral Shift's going to be used. So much pressure coming in from this double Demon Hunter. Kitty shot on Sidu. In the meantime, he uses the Astral Shift into the silence. Oh! He needs to stay alive a little longer. Oh Triple Fear coming oh. in. And Sidu gets taken down somehow, nice some play. way. The Gosu crew managed to take down Method Orange 3-0. to zero. I still think they're going to play this out. Absurd doesn't have anything. Although it, although it doesn't seem like he needs anything most of the time. Let's see. I'm, they've still got their metamorphosis activated right now with I-Beam doing immense pressure. Whiskey's got Vampiric Embrace to deflect this. With a Hex and a Stun, I'm sure Mez is going to be going down in this position, and the Ghostu crew are going to close it out. Method Orange were very close to the win condition, but without that extra added durability of feed versus the fake Zebras, we're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.